Today we're going to demonstrate to you a linear amplifier made by Silicon Valley Power. The amplifier uses the D1022 push-pull MOSFET. The uh, MOSFET can handle 1 to 500 megahertz for 100 watts output, especially in the HF frequencies. The MOSFET has a, a very high gain. So this allows the, MOS, the amplifier to be used with my FT817ND, the 4 watt QRP transceiver. And we will show in the demo that the transceiver is capable driving the amplifier to the point where we get uh, 100 watts with ease. Now the first band we're going to try is uh, the 160 megahertz band. At that frequency the amplifier uh, does not have a lot of gain, probably because of the RF, trans RF transformers used in the unit. Uh, we'll show what it uh, does there on the bird watt meter. The bird watt meter has a 250 watt element in there, so full scale is 250 watts. And as you can see at 160 meters we get uh, 25 watts, not too impressive. However, when we go to uh, 80 meters, it gets more interesting. As you see, the amplifier does 100 watts with ease for the uh, 80 meter band. This is the 40 meter band. There we get 125 watts with 4 watts of drive power from the uh, Yesu. 10 megahertz band about 120 watts the uh, 20 meter band 14 megahertz we get a little bit more than 100 watts 18 megahertz about 105, 110. The 21 megahertz band we get exactly 100 watts. 24 megahertz band we get exactly 100 watts. 27 megahertz band we get about 110 watts 28 megahertz band we get 100 watts the 50 megahertz band we get about 80 watts now in all fairness the, the, the bird can only uh, uh, accurately uh, show power to 30 megahertz, but it still gives us an indication. Uh, the amplifier even gives off power at uh, 2 meters, which we have the Yezu set for now. But again, the bird watt meter is not accurate there. But it shows you that the amplifier actually. Uh, still works in that band. And this concludes the, uh, the test for the Silicon Valley power, linear power amplifier. Thank you.